Hi everyone. So I wanted to purchase a motorized projector screen and ideally I wanted to control it through my smart home setup. But when I started looking into this, I realized there wasn't a clear plug and play solution. Most of the advice out there was around using RF remotes and signal blasters like Broadlink, which felt a bit clunky and inconsistent. I wanted something that was local, reliable, and didn't rely on emulating button presses. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made a smart projector screen using a Shelly Plus 2PM with a proper wired control, no RF, no cloud. And in the next video, I'll show you how I integrated this with Home Assistant. So here's what we're gonna need for this project. This was the projector screen that I chose to go with. There are a few different options out there, but they all seem to vary in how the control box works. So this one had all the features that I needed to be able to control it with the Shelly. And as mentioned, I'm using a Shelly Plus 2PM control module. There are versions of this available from other brands such as Sonoff, but I chose to go with the Shelly because it was recommended to me from someone that I know that's done something similar to this and they say it's very reliable. So I chose to go with that one for ease of use. Another plus with the Shelly is it works really nicely with Alexa, Google Home, all those kind of things. And for me, more importantly, Home Assistant. I'm also gonna be using some spare twin and earth cable I had lying around just to make those extra connections. Some of the cables on the power adapter and then the cable that connects to the projector are quite short. And finally, I've got some Wago quick connectors just to connect everything together safely. I've linked everything that's been used down in the description. So if you need to check anything, you can go and have a look there. Here we have the RF control box that comes with the screen. We're gonna be replacing this controller with the Shelly PM2. It has seven wires in total that we need to cut and repurpose. Of these, we have earth, earth, live, neutral, neutral, down and up. An earth, live and neutral that connect to the mains plug and earth neutral down and up that connect to the projector screen. Once we've cut the wires from the existing control board, we're going to use the Shelly to replace it as the brains of the operation. This is what the wiring diagram looks like. This is for a UK plug, so it might be different depending on where you are, but the general concept is. From the mains power, we have live, which is brown, that's gonna to connect to the L terminal on the Shelly. Neutral, which is blue, is gonna to connect to the N terminal. And then the earth, which is green and yellow, that's not gonna to connect to the Shelly, it's gonna join with the motor or projector screen earth. And then from the projector screen cable, we're gonna have neutral, which is blue. That's gonna be a shared neutral, the same as the main, so they're gonna to go together and then go into the N terminal on the Shelly. Up, which is the black cable, that's gonna go into zero one, which raises the screen. Down is gonna go into zero two on the Shelly, which is the brown cable. And then the earth is gonna connect with the mains power supply earth. So they're just gonna bypass the Shelly and just you know be a safety ground. So here we have everything wired up uh, pretty crudely just to test it out. I will tidy this up, but it's just so we can see that it actually works. So now we're gonna take this upstairs and try it out with a projector and make sure it's doing what we need it to do. So the next step is to plug this in and check that it's getting power. And if so, we'll go into the Shelly app to configure it. So good news, we had power to the module, which means I've been able to add it to the Shelly app. That was dead easy. It just picked it up straight away from Bluetooth. But there's a few things that you need to configure once it's in there to make sure you can do the open and close. And also if you want to be able to open and close it to a certain percentage, like I want to do, I don't want it to go all the way down. So the few things that you need to factor in. So if you go into the settings, the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the device profile and change that to cover. It might also be called rolling shutter, depending on which version you're on. We then want to set the input type to switch. Next is reverse directions. We're gonna enable that, because actually when we're opening it, we're closing it, so they are reversed. And then finally, we want to go to calibration and we're gonna start the calibration. This can take about five minutes because it has to go through all the various positions, but this will allow you to open and close it to a certain percentage. 
This is also handy when it comes to Home Assistant when we're looking at automating this later on. Once it's finished calibrating, you'll see this slider and you can see the percentage now. So that means you can change it as you like. And here you can see, if I set it to 50%, the projector screen is now gonna go up halfway. So just to kind of indicate that we can change and move it where we need it to. Here we are a few days later and I've got everything tidied up now. All the controls are hidden in the box up there. And as you can see, Everything is nice and clean and powered up and ready to go. So I hope you found this video useful. In the second part, I'm gonna show you how I integrated it into my Home Assistant setup to automate the screen opening and closing. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments and I'll try and do my best to answer them as well.